Big B's Daily Vlogs. Some nice clear skies. Nice beautiful day today. It's time to get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Yes! Championship hat, back-to-back -back victories for the Golden State Warriors. Check that out. Ready for the parade? But no, I'm not going. I'm here in the Pacific Heights neighborhood because this is a very unusual house right over there right over there that caught my attention and I decided let's talk about it check this out right across the street right here on California Street you guys noticed something weird about this house how it's only looks like it's a half of a house if that's what you're looking at yes this is called the Tobin house half of a house you can see where the brick house right there on the right is separated from this cement color looking house right here on the left that is the Tobin house and the Tobin house was supposed to extend all the way to this brick house but it didn't have it they didn't have it because this house was built by Michelle de Young yes the founder of the San Francisco Chronicle and more famous for the de Young Museum here in San Francisco for his daughter I said Michelle de Young I meant Michael de Young apologize for that founder of the San Francisco Chronicle built this house for his daughter Constance the Tobin house was the first half of a pair built for the wealthy daughters of Michael de Young and one of them at least had other plans designed in 1915 by artist Willis Polk, yes, the guy that Polk Street is named after. He, he uh, decided to build this gothic looking house, was, showed Michael de Young. Michael de Young liked the way the house looked, but the daughter, Constance, didn't want to live here. Didn't want to have nothing to do with his house. So his daughter Helen DeYoung had other plans and said, Thanks, but no thanks, Dad. The second half of the house, the image was never built, and Michael decided to keep it the way it is. But there it is, half, San Francisco's famous half of a house, half of a mansion. How cool is that? How cool is that? Pretty cool, if I must say. Pretty cool. Let's get up and close and see, see what else we can get over there. Before taking that walk across the street, you can see how far the go the house goes to. Did it get any uh, any like you know floor floor plan? How many rooms this house has? But I'm assuming it has more than ten rooms because it was supposed to be a whole mansion. Again, it was supposed to extend as far as this house is right here, but it just stayed right where this area is. But you have the driveway right there. You have half of what looks like supposed to be another driveway right over in that area right there but it's half of a house cool San Francisco history you can see just by looking at the top from here there's four chimneys because I'm assuming the two here has two more in the back because you see one back there right there and I'm assuming there's another one back there and then you can see the archway of the house we're gonna take a closer look at this house in one minute because I'm gonna wait to jaywalk now again you can see the driveway of the house right here and right here you have what could have been part of the driveway of the house you have the door you have some kind of construction that's going on in this house and then there's a little plaque right here as well 
There's the plaque right there. The Tobin House, 1915, built by Willis Polk, architect. It's San Francisco's historical landmark, number 260. How cool is that? Pretty cool. You have a lion that's guarding the house right up there. And then this archway right here, not sure what it is. Looks like it could have been part of the house as well. It could have been part of the other house. And again, the house is supposed to extend all the way here to this red bricked house. But then the daughters had other plans. So it just remained as half of a house. But how cool is that? Someone left a reef, wreath, reef, whatever you call it, reef, right there. There's a surveillance camera right there, so I'm trying to stay away from it. But man, this looks pretty cool. Look at this, this gate that they have right here. This gate's probably been here for who knows how long. You can see all the rust, the crepancy that it has in there. And then looking into the gate, it looks like, it looks like just a little alleyway. But it looks pretty cool. The foyer, you can see the foyer of the house from in here as well. Way back there. But half of a house. I'm only going to live on this half, Dad. I don't feel like living on the other half. No thanks, Dad. Walk back across the street of the house because you get a better view over here and you get a better understanding of what the half of the house is. But just imagine, your dad wanted to build you a house. And your dad was nice enough to say, I'm building you guys a house. It's going to be a mansion. But you said no. No. I don't want it. Why? Who knows, but right there, Michael DeYoung, founder of the Chronicle, founder of the DeYoung Museum, or who the DeYoung Museum is named after, built that house and didn't finish it, only left half of it. I, I'm almost curious to see what it looks like inside, like where the wall on this end stops. Where does that wall stop? Where does the wall stop and where, where does the rest of the house look like? Like does the hallway lead into nowhere? I'm curious. I'm curious, but right there, right behind me, half of the house. Half of the Tobin house, right here on California Street. I can't imagine anyone saying no to their parents. Nowadays, if their parents wanted to build you a house and say, Dad, I don't want it. But just imagine what this would have looked like if you see this house right here and put a carbon copy of it right there. How that would look together. I think it would have been, would have looked pretty cool, but the daughters again had other plans. They said, no, we don't want this house built or we don't want half the house built. Now there's nothing in history or there's nothing where I can find where they didn't live in this house. So I'm not sure if they decided not to move in or did not want to live in here. Um, all I saw doing my research and my internet investigation is that they didn't want the other half built. So whether they decided to live there or not, I don't know. But you can see, zooming in, you can see all the how all the features that was built to this house. Willis Polk, whose Polk Street is named after, did a couple other places. I did the Octagon House. You guys remember the Octagon House? right down the street from where I'm at right now. He did the Octagon House as well. So he did a couple things here in San Francisco. He's a pretty well-known architect here in San Francisco, which is pretty cool. But how many people you think drive around this neighborhood and don't realize that looks like it's a half a house. Where's the rest of the half? It's not there. Where did it go? Where, where is it? Um, hello? The other half is where? All right, guys, little hidden, hidden fact, hidden secret about San Francisco that you guys probably didn't know was here. Again, I'm standing across the street at the Tobin House right over there. Little cool, cool San Francisco history. Little cool San Francisco, like, hmm. Makes me wonder, I kind of want to wish I had a time machine, go back in time. Makes me wonder what they were thinking about not having that second part that part that will go right there. Them not wanting to have that built. Because again, nowadays, if my dad said, I'm building you a house, I'm gonna say, okay, dad, cool. Make sure it's 
has enough room for a basketball court and, and some cars that, I, that you, you're going to end up buying for me. Because if you're going to build me a house, you eventually have to buy me, buy me some cars. But just imagine what, what they were going through that they did not want that other half of the house built. Hmm. Makes me wonder. Makes me wonder. The journey continues. The vlog is going on. For you guys who watched the vlog from yesterday of the kidney walk, the kidney foundation, thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching that vlog. Again, the vlog has continued. We are talking about the Tobin House here in San Francisco, right here in the Pacific Heights neighborhood. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'm gonna try to look for more obscure stuff in San Francisco, stuff like this. Besides the Octagon House that I showed you guys a couple days ago, this right here caught my attention. Then you got the Born House that I showed you guys, the founder of PG&E. A lot of more houses here in San Francisco that's pretty good to talk about. This one right here, probably the weirdest because it's just half a house. I think so. Leave me comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up to this channel if you guys just stumbled onto my channel. Just looking at the house and I'm just, that is a weird house. That's a weird house. That is weird. Like, comment, and subscribe, like I said. Warrior hat, warrior parade. Everybody's gonna go to the parade. Play it safe. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Thanks for watching, guys. Right here on California Street, checking out the Tobin house. Half of the house, at least. Vlog's ended, guys. One piece. Thanks for watching.